All right, so in this video, we are gonna see how you can show your form submission data into the pipeline management system. So if I go to opportunities, there's already a sales pipeline. All I wanna do is whenever I submit a form or whenever my leads submit a form, they're gonna come into this step automatically. So they're gonna be coming into new lead stage. Uh, I If I go to sites and if I go to forms section, I can see there's already a free roof code form so I want whenever somebody submits this form he or she will be coming here as a title so first of all what we need to do is we need to open this form in a new tab let me click on this link open this form there you go okay just keep it for now and I will go to automation here I will create a new workflow I will select start from scratch I don't want any templates or campaigns or anything so this is the beginning of our new workflow we will call it website contact form and this is the trigger right so there are two steps in workflow we can we can say this is a trigger so trigger is basically what activates this workflow where these will be called actions we can set up multiple actions so actions are basically what happens when the workflow is activated so first of all we need to set up a trigger the trigger will be form submitted because we want this workflow to be active when somebody fills up this form and submits it so form submitted we're going to add a new filter we're going to say form is we, we just want this form to be involved with this workflow and no other form that we're going to create in the future we just want this form to be connected with this workflow that's why we set up the filter save trigger now we're gonna do create or update opportunity select pipeline we need to select sales pipeline as we only have one for now we're gonna select news lead and and this one this this step is really important so opportunity name what name will be displayed on the tile so we're gonna hit here and we're gonna say contact full name we we want the leads full name to be displayed on the tile opportunity source you can leave it blank or you can just call it website contact form so we know where it came from because there's gonna be lead coming in from multiple places we just want to make sure we know where they're coming from lead value you can assign a lead value based on like based on how much you're gonna sell but for now I'm, I'm keeping it blank status open because it's a lead if we if uh, like until we sell this uh, sell anything to this lead we're keeping it open so these options we can just turn like keep it turned off for now duplicate opportunities means one lead can have multiple tiles but I'm, I'm just keeping it closed just to avoid duplication save action publish and hit save so let's go ahead and refresh this page let me go back so the workflow has been created now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill this form up let's say Tom Hanks email cast away at gmail.com this will be United States um, 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 let's say this one roof maintenance let's say installation Tom Hanks is a rich guy so if I hit get a free quote I should be able to see the data I submitted in the opportunities section there we go so the the forms submission data has been automatically generated here so this is how you connect the forms of go high level with uh, your pipeline management system through automation.